Hello, this is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoes, and I want to show you how to get up and running with your Smart Card Utility Reader and the Smart Card Utility app. So I've got um, my new Smart Card Utility uh, Reader here with my my cat card inserted. You can see my dog got a hold of it, and so it's chewed on it a little bit, but it still works fine. Um, the reader's not on. I'm going to show you what all the LEDs do, and then I'm going to go ahead and install the app. So first thing I'll do is I'll search for the app in the App Store, and then I already installed it, so I just need to tap open. You want to make sure that you turn on notifications. Notifications is how the reader communicates with the app and Safari and the phone and to give you notifications. So go ahead and tap on show approval to make sure you allow this because otherwise you won't get any feedback and that's really important to using the reader well. So I'll go through and swipe um, through these um, welcome dialogues or welcome screens and then I'll turn the reader on and so if I tap on the reader you can see that the blue LED flashes means nothing's connected up to it yet and I'll tap read certificates so this is a Bluetooth reader it's gonna prompt me to use Bluetooth I'll say OK um, for this one it, it goes ahead and you can see that it connects to the reader normally it won't do this but since I've used this reader on this phone before it connects up to it so I'll just pull down a refresh and it'll show me all the readers that are available and I'll tap this and if there's a brand new reader this is when it would connect up to it the blue light turns solid which means there's a connection and then the green light if it's solid it means the cards inserted if it's flashing it means a cards inserted and it's talking to it in fact if I remove the if I remove the card, you can see the green light goes off. I get a notification that says the card's removed, and I can insert the card back, and it'll say that the card's been inserted. So it's um, the notifications give you kind of the uh, state of the reader. So I'll go ahead and insert the slot 9A PIV authentication. Um, that's normally the only uh, certificate you want to insert because that's the one that's normally used for client authentication on websites. We won't install the trust certificates now because our test website doesn't require it. I would recommend that if you're going to a DoD website, you do install that. So I'll hit skip, and then I'll tap, type, or tap back in the upper left-hand corner. Now we'll go to our test website, and watch what happens with the LEDs when I tap test. So I test test, and you can see the LEDs went off. And the reason for that is that the app disconnected from the reader. And whenever the reader gets disconnected from an app, it turns off to save battery, <clears throat> which isn't a big deal. So we'll just turn it back on, and it'll go back to the state of it's waiting for a new app to connect up to it. And so we will connect up with, um, we'll go to a PIV enabled website. And once we do that and start that authentication, it's going to prompt, be, uh, prompt us to say, do you want to use um, the Two Canoes extension to access the certificates? We'll tap continue. And they can see it immediately connected up to the reader, which is this blue light. And then the green light flashed because it was, it was um, uh, talking to the card. And then it prompted me for PIN and gave me a push that said the card was inserted. So let me go ahead and put in my PIN. I'll tap OK, and then it should uh, start to load the page. And this only happens the very first time that you use the reader and insert the certificates. Safari will time out. So all we need to do is pull um, down to refresh, and you can see that it now flickers the green light and it lo loads the page correctly, and we're off and running. You never have to go back to the app at this point. Um, you only go in Safari. <laughs> Even if you turn off Bluetooth, reboot the phone, force quit Safari, doesn't matter. You don't need to go in the app. It'll stu still do that authentication. And as an example of that, let me, I'll go out of Safari and I'll turn off Bluetooth. You can see the lights went off and I'll turn Bluetooth back on. So I'm out of Safari. In fact, I can force, it, force quit Safari and do that. And so if I turn the reader back on, you can see, see it's still connected up to it. I got a push notification that says the reader's connected. I open up Safari, and now if I uh, allow this to continue, put in my pin, and it'll successfully load that page. So we're now off and working, and I just need to go into Safari, make sure my reader's on, and then it'll connect up to it and do that authentication. Thank you very much for watching.